Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Polygon Pen Tool. I'm going to go over all the keyboard commands in order to give us a few options when we're creating our geometry. I'm also going to go over a few of the different draw modes, points, edges, and polygons. I'm also going to go over some of the other options in the Attributes Manager to help you create geometry and just give you a little bit better of advantage than some of the other tools that we have in Cinema 4D. Go to Model Layout, and in order to use the Polygon Pen tool, we're going to need an object. So go to Primitives and choose a cube, and we're going to choose five segments in the X, Y, and Z, and then press C on your keyboard to make that object editable. And we're going to need to be in points, edges, or polygons in order to use the tool. And to see the polygon pen tool, you can choose this icon right here. You can also right click and go to polygon pen tool or ME on your keyboard. Now, if I zoom into my object and I use my cursor, you can see that the edges highlight, the polygons highlight, and the points highlight. And you can do this in any mode that you're in. If you're in edge mode, you can still use the polygons and points and edges. Now we have a few modifier keys within the pen tool to give us a different result. So if we hold down Command and we click on a point, we can see that it duplicates that point, makes a copy, and we can drag it where we want. So let me undo. We can also use the same command for edges. Now extrude out an edge. Let me undo. And in polygons, we can command click and drag out an edge as well, uh, drag out a polygon. Now if we hold down shift, we can rotate that polygon. So command, click and drag, depending on left or right or up or down, we can bring up that extrusion and then hold, while still holding down command and the mouse button, hold down shift, and then we can rotate that polygon. Now if we release the shift button while still holding down the mouse and command, we'll just snap back to our extrusion. And you can also command click and drag and hold down shift to rotate the edge as well when you're extruding an edge. Now we also have command plus shift on a polygon and you can see how the icon changes on the cursor it goes from an arrow or it goes from our tool to an arrow and polygon so when we have that icon we can click and drag on a polygon and we can move that polygon along its normals Now we also have ability to make arcs using the polygon pen tool. If we command click, uh, com command and hold down shift over an edge, you can see that we have this white arc that pops up and we can move that where we want it and then click in order to make that arc. Now that arc the subdivisions that we have, that's controlled by the arc subdivision right here. So currently it's at 10, so we have 10 points that is added into our arc. Now we can also use command and click on a point, and then we move over here to a different spot. If I command click on a point, it's going to melt that point. 
And what you see here now we have this large n-gon indicated by the cyan lines that Cinema 4D puts in. You can also command click on an edge and it will melt that edge. And if you command click on a polygon, it will delete that polygon. Okay, so let's look at a few different options here that we have on our Attributes Manager. I'm going to go into our top view, F2 on your keyboard, and I'm going to hide this cube by double-clicking on our stoplight to red. I'm going to choose a plane from the primitives. So I'm going to click and hold and go down to Plane. And I want to go to NB on the keyboard to bring up our lines. And I want to bring down the width and height segments to about 5, I think, is fine. And then press C on the keyboard to make the plane editable. I'm going to go back to my tool to see the attributes. Now you see that we have our draw mode is set to points. So in order to draw out a, a polygon, we can do so and it helps a little bit to be in one of our orthographic views. Our top, right, or front. Right now I'm just going to stay in the top view. So I'm going to click click again, click again, click again, and then close this polygon by clicking on this point. And now we have a polygon using this draw mode. Now what we can also do is we can command click and drag, like I showed you before, and it helps to be in a orthographic view when using this option. Because at this point, then we can then start drawing by using extrusions by command clicking and dragging. Now we also have this auto weld function so that if we have a, an extrusion, let me get to an edge. Command click and drag. We can also weld points together with this auto weld. So if I click on a point, it'll snap to that point, and now that point is now welded together. Now I went over points. Let's go for a different draw mode, and let's go to edges. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag, or click, release the mouse button, make another point, click on that point, make another line, click on that point, and then click again. And then we have this temporary line that Cinema 4D puts in after we go through this operation. Now you'll notice that if I go to another tool, that line will dis, uh, disappear and then we'll have to start again. So it's only a temporary line until we connect up these edges. So we're in draw mode edges. We click on the polygon pen tool, click again, make a line, click on that point again, click another point, and then click on that point and then release one more time. So now we have this line we have set up. We can then create another line and then connect these edges by command clicking on an edge and dragging and then snapping that polygon to our other edge. Click, connect again, command click, and connect again. So now we have our geometry 
that we can create in edge mode. And we can still continue to tweak and move our edges around. And we can do that again if we need to create some more geometry. So it's just another mode in which us in which we can create some geometry. Okay, so that's our edge mode for our draw mode. Let's go to polygons. And now what we can do in this mode is we can paint polygons in a way. So we're in draw mode. We have this uh, circle, you'll notice, around our polygon pen tool, around our cursor. So we left mouse button click and drag, you can see that we can paint in polygons. And we can still command click and drag and continue to tweak with our, our tool. So it's a quick and, and another way for us to create geometry in this very versatile tool. Now, also keep in mind that we have a polygon brush radius. So we can increase our radius and you can see our circle has changed to a larger radius. Now when we click and drag, we can create larger polygons. So as you can see, I kind of made a face here and I did not mean to do that. <laughs> but um, as you can see that we can use this tool in many different ways and I like to use it in a orthographic view, so a top view in this case. But as we get into perspective mode, you can see that as we create our geometry, we can then go into our perspective mode and then start command click and dragging and shaping our points into more of a three-dimensional object. So it's a very versatile tool and you'll notice as you start using it, it kind of replaces a lot of different tools in a way. And you'll notice that as you continue to use it and experiment to experiment ways in order to create geometry you're going to find yourself using this tool a lot even where it seems like you would use another tool specifically and obviously there's some advantages to using uh, specific tools like the extrude tool and extrude inner but as you're working instead of moving to that tool in order to make a, a simple function, you can use some of these options, some of these modifier uh, keyboard commands in order to help you shape and model and create your geometry. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also go to astronomic3d.com to download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I've made so far. Thanks for watching.